Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Rick Shaves. And I got a great shave for you today. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm gonna be using. Uh, I have this vintage Gillette uh, Ball and Tech razor. Uh, it's called Ball and Tech because it has this ball here. This is probably from the 1960s, so uh, definitely a, a great mild shaving razor. I absolutely love these razors. Um, uh, in all honesty, I own modern the, the modern safety razors that are made by companies today, and I own quite a few vintage ones as well. Uh, you find these easy on eBay, and to be honest with you, I actually prefer using vintage razors i i don't know and there's something just about it it's kind of like takes you back in time and uh you can kind of shave you know kind of think of maybe where this razor uh where this journey on the, of this razor has been and you know it's it just uh kind of that nerd thing <laughs> I, I like to think about uh while i'm shaving but i prefer uh using uh vintage razors uh, the soap today is the Razor Rock Classic. This is a great scented soap. It's an almond or uh, marzipan type scent. And uh, it smells absolutely great. I mean, there's really no thrills or anything to it. There's nothing, uh, you know, spectacular. It just, it's a great scented soap. It's uh, part of their original line. They may have changed the uh, label on this. I'm not sure. But uh, <clears throat> that, uh, that's going to be the soap. The brush is going to be my, uh, what's it called? Haircut and Shave Co. Uh, this is a synthetic brush. Kind of has that barber pole uh, handle. Uh, tuxedo knot. Uh, excellent brush to use. And then I'm just going to use some of this right here. Clubman Classic. This is a uh, great aftershave. It's a uh, uh, really good scented aftershave. It's been around for, a, you know, well, I think since the 1800s, I think they've been making this. I might be wrong, but, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's been around since, you know, since that time. Okay, let me go ahead and jump into this shave. I'm pretty excited about it. I got a few days of uh, growth here, uh, maybe like two or three, and... Uh, as you can see, there's one bald spot, there's two, and then there's three. So that's uh, kind of, you can kind of see it a little bit better, but that, uh, that alopecia, you know, not that I can really do about it, but anyways, it'll look uh, a lot better once I'm all uh, shaved up. Okay, already did my pre-shave routine, took a shower, hydrated my beard, cleaned it out really good. Now I'm just going to re-wet Okay, re-wet the skin. All right, that nice and hydrated. Wet my brush. Again, synthetics are great. And let's go ahead and get that working. I mean, look at it, it's already and I, I haven't used this soap in, oh God, probably over a year. <laughs> and uh, still works. So, you know, they'll last a while and the scent still, yeah, still pretty strong. Okay. Do my little Dr. Evil swipe. Get a little bit more water. This isn't really a, a thirsty soap, but it's, it's really making a lot of good lather now. Look at that. Yeah. All right, look at that. Golly, I was like, what? That was probably that probably wasn't even ten seconds. 
that lather there. So I'll tell you, that's some good soap. Okay, wet my razor. And uh, the, these are actually pretty inexpensive, these uh, Ball and Tech ones. All right, that looks good there. This neck area here, pretty good slickness on the soap. I'll tell you, guys, uh, Razor Rock products are pretty good. You know, good protection, good slickness. Now, the only thing uh, for me, and you might be different, um, some soaps kind of leave my skin feeling a little dry after using them, and uh, this is one of them. Okay, so that's that might be kind of one of the a little con about the soap. Get under that mustache there. Yeah, uh, it leaves my skin feeling a little dried out. <coughs> That's not a problem though, because uh, you know I could always put some aftershave balm or lotion or something on it. But as far as the shave, uh, during the shave, it feels really good. So it's not a, it's that kind of that post shave feel that uh, leaves my skin feeling a little dry. Well, this razor's doing the job. It's a very mild shaving razor, too. Uh, you go on eBay, you can find them. Um, you can kind of find them in uh, all different kinds of conditions. I recommend just kind of really looking at the photos and if necessary, message the seller and you know ask to see more photos or ask them uh, if the razor needs any you know work or anything or has any <clears throat> you know uh, rust spots or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna re-wet my face. Okay, get all that excess. soap and use it to swirl around her, you know, use it on my face. Adds to the slickness. Slickness is pretty good on this. I wet, you know, when I wet my skin, uh, I could feel the, uh, the slickness of the soap. So great protection. Great cushion, lather. Yeah, definitely a great one. Like I said, no no real thrills or anything to it. You know, it's a... Uh, it, it's, it's a, you know, the scent is, they, they say almond or uh, marzipan or something like that. You know, um, that that's kind of just a... It's it, it's not a uh, spectacular scent. It just you know smells good. Okay, cross grain.
at that chin area. Oh yeah, nice and smooth there. I tell you, this razor does a great job. Uh, like I said, I love vintage razors. I don't know, to me, they just feel like they were made better. Uh, that's my opinion though. Go up on the neck on the second pass. Wow, yeah, that's good. That's good. Suits my needs. Okay, now it's about. 20 degrees outside right now, which is crazy because, oh wow, I live in Texas, that's cold. <laughs> and I'm doing a cold water rinse right now. But, you know, everybody's got hit right now with this big winter storm. It's kind of pushed from the north down. <laughs> so, but, you know, here in Texas, you know, up north, you know, I'm sure if they experience the weather we're experiencing now, uh, they'd probably be walking around in shorts. <laughs> but um, uh, for us, you know, we're not used to that, you know, icy, icy roads and, you know, uh, you know, really cold weather. I, I think no matter what, if it's in the 20s, it's pretty cold no matter where you are. Um, but uh, for us, yeah, we're not really used to it. So um, we're having to adjust. But luckily, it's only going to last till about Tuesday. Then it's going to start warming up again. So, all right, enough about the weather. Let's get into some of this Clubman. Uh, this is their just their classic. Just like a nice barbershop type, you know, scent. Yeah, I know, I know that's kind of uh, one of those things. It's kind of like this floral, powdery, you know, clean scent, but it, it just smells great. And I love these. I, I, I love the Clubman uh, line of aftershaves. And this is, this is kind of what, if you go to an actual barbershop, a real one and uh, you get like uh, your neck lined up or you know some places they even do they even do shaves a lot of guys they use this you know because it's a, it's such a great scented like it's that classic you know barbershop scent when men were men <laughs> oh man yeah now that hmm hmm Mmm, yeah. Now, that is a smooth shave. Uh, feels really good. Um, really good on my cheeks, too, and my chin. Super close. Now, the neck, it's still a little rough, like right here and here, but I don't like really going against that grain because, uh, it'll, you know, I wind up getting, uh, uh, ingrowns or something like that so but man this shave was was really good now my skin does feel a little bit dried out so let me see what I did with it I don't know oh here it is I got so much stuff over here so I'm gonna use a little bit of this this aqua velva this is a aftershave balm and I think I'm out of this stuff. Yeah, I think I'm out. Or almost out. Yeah. Let 
since that soap feels a little dry or the soap felt like it dried my skin out a little bit I want to add some moisture back into it you know alcohol is going to dry your skin out even more and there's alcohol in that clubman yeah I definitely need to get some more of this stuff it's it's great uh this tube has lasted me a long time though because I don't have to use it all the time but um, I've had it for like about a year or two maybe a couple years now all right just get that yeah tame the beast <laughs> yeah Oh man, yeah, no, that feels really good. Really close, really uh, good shave, and I'm ready for the day. All right, let's go ahead and recap. I use this vintage uh, Gillette Ball and Tech razor. Awesome little razor here. Uh, I have one in gold as well. Uh, I, I love these Ball and Tech razors. These are actually, I think, probably the, the some of the, the cheaper ones on eBay. And uh, they're three-piece razors, and um, yeah, they just they just absolutely work uh, fantastic. So uh, if you're in the market for one of those, go ahead and uh, check it out. The soap Razor Rock Classic, like I said, great scented soap, nothing spectacular about it, but uh, it does the job. Now during the shave, it protected my skin it was slick it you know it, it was a comfortable shave but the post shave felt like uh it dried my skin out a little bit so uh you know keep that in mind that uh, some soaps will do that and uh, i i don't necessarily think it makes it a bad soap i think it's just kind of maybe you know it might just be your skin type um you know, I, I don't have real oily skin on my face. Up here, my T-zone, like on my forehead and here, yeah, I, you know, it's it, it'll it get oily, but here on my cheeks and my neck, it's not. So, um, I don't know. It's just, uh, just how my skin is. Okay, the uh, brush is this uh, Haircut and Shave Co. Uh, synthetic brush let me just kind of wring it out there for you that's a lot that's still tons of lather in there so more than enough for you know i could do a head shave with it if i wanted to so and then not last but not least is this stuff here uh i would definitely recommend getting some of this um i I'm pretty sure you can probably find this in the store. Uh, if not, I know Amazon carries it uh, pretty cheap. So, or late last I checked, it was pretty cheap. But all this stuff, it gave me a really good shave. So, very pleased. Okay, guys, well, that's going to do it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, as you know, I'm still building the channel, so uh, all support is appreciated. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.